Hey YouTube, Eli is joining us for this intro. He is very sad and he needs to be with his mommy every second, so he's here. But anyways, um, this bad boy just got to my doorstep probably last week, but I didn't have a chance to film um, a look for it, and that's what this video is going to be. So um, everything on my eyeballs today is, <laughs> is from this Too Faced Peach palette. It's beautiful. It smells like peaches, triple pigmented. There are some gorgeous, gorgeous bronzes, corals, pinks, um, purples. Just a beautiful, beautiful palette. I'll open it and show you guys. I did put some Fix Plus on my candied peach, so it kind of is a stain there now. I hope it goes away, but that might be purple because I mix shades, but that's what it looks like and it smells so good smell it this smell good yeah these are some swatches on the back well not like swatches but i just love it it smells so good and i can totally understand why this bad boy has been selling out every time it hits um, online or in stores it just keeps selling out so um, I believe this is in stores at Ulta and Sephora currently. You can also get it online. Um, but it's been pretty hard to get. So hopefully you have one. And if you have one, then stay tuned and see what kind of look I put together. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids with Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Now we're going to go ahead and get our palette. Mmm, it smells so good. And I'm taking the shade Peaches and Cream and packing that all over my eye. You don't really have to be very precise with this. With Summer Young, we're just going to blend that into Peaches and Cream, focusing in the crease area. And then with the pencil brush, we'll be taking the shade Delectable and packing that directly into the crease. Try to stay as precise as you can. I also am winging it out a little bit. And then I'm just going over it with a fluffy brush to really blend it in. We don't like any harsh lines. Now I'm spraying a large shader brush with some Fix Plus. And the reason I'm doing this is because when you pick up the color, it comes off more pigmented. And I'm taking the shade Bellini and Candied Peach and packing that all over the lid. And then once again, going over the entire area with a fluffy brush. Now I'm gonna be taking the shade Tempting, which is a black, and putting it on the outer corner and blending it inwards in the crease, just for some extra smokage. And once again, we are going over it with a fluffy brush. With the same shades we used on our lid, which is Candy Peach and Bellini, we are just gonna pack that in your lower lash line. Now I'm taking a white liner, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my waterline, and then with a black liner, I'm gonna smudge that all together. As for eyebrow highlight, we're gonna go in with the lightest shade on the palette, and that is white peach. I'm using a liquid liner today, but you can use any liner you want, and you're just gonna go ahead and get your wing on, girl. And I'm just gonna go over my lashes with mascara. Of course, we're applying falsies, these are Grand Glamour by Vegas Nay. Now I'm priming my face with Smashbox Photo Finish. And I'm gonna be taking my Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation and an Artiste brush and just putting on my face. This combo is amazing because you only need one pump of the foundation and the Artiste brush really takes the foundation a long way. Now I'm going in with my Urban Decay Naked Concealer and with the same Artiste brush, just getting it in there. Now I'm taking my NYX Set It Don't Fret It Mineral Powder and using that to set my under eye concealer as well as adding it to my jawline for that baking effect. And now I'm setting the rest of my face with Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. Highlight on Fleek Girls, I am of course using Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics and just putting that all over my face. Going in with a soft peach blush by Tarte called Captivating and just adding that to the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm just lining my lips with a nude pencil by NYX and filling in my lips with Teddy Bear by Lime Crime, which is a shade inspired by Melanie Martinez, who I am currently obsessed with. For a little bit of an ombre lip, I'm just gonna be applying Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood just to the center of my top and bottom lip. 
and blending it with the finger, but you can also use a brush, but I find a finger works a little bit better. The trick about ombre lips is you don't wanna blend the colors so seamlessly that it just looks like a completely different shade. You want a gradient effect. And then this is the final look. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you happen to create this look based on this video, please tag me in it because I would love to see how it looks on you guys. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. Bye.